Good morning from the NASDAQ market side in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street. And today is Thursday, October 15th. Coming up today, consumer prices are released. Most economists expect them to fall. Well, the New York Fed's Dudley participates in a roundtable on how the Fed should decide what to do with interest rates. And American farmland prices 12 million shares at an average of $9.50 each. Well, there is lots of action going on in the IPO market today. First data, which is going public today, priced its IPO at $6. $16 per share. That was beneath the expected range of 18 to 20. It will sell 160 million shares, so it looks like the payments processing company will raise $2.56 billion in its flotation. That does make it the largest IPO of this year. And that pricing news comes directly on the heels of Square, a competing payments company which revealed its IPO filing after the closing bell. And grocery chain Albertson says it will delay its IPO. That was scheduled for today. They're delaying until market conditions are more favorable. Well, Netflix fell short of U.S. subscriber growth, adding 880,000 new customers, but 1.19 million was expected. And it's got an interesting blame game going on. Netflix says customers are switching to chip-based credit cards, and that has led to their subscriptions lapsing, hurting the streaming video's earnings. And managed healthcare company United Health reported earnings that were essentially flat compared to last year. Third quarter earnings were $1.597 billion, $1.65 a share. That's compared with with $1.6 billion, or $1.63 a share, in the same quarter a year ago. The results were overall better than expected. And that is a wrap for us. But be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com. At the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.